Reddit um, is considering, actually, I mean, it's basically a plan at this point. They are going to issue shares in the website uh, for investors and also give 10% of the shares directly to the users of Reddit. And they've already raised $50 million from investors, big high profile investors like Mark Andreessen, uh, Peter Thiel, and Snoop Dogg. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I I forgot about Snoop Dogg. That's the way. There's another really random celebrity that invested, who, you know, it was just as funny as Snoop Dogg, but I can't remember who it was. Oh. Iggy Azalea? No, I doubt it. No, <laughs> it was it was a definitely it was definitely a dude. Okay. But you know, well, it was just just as random, even more random than Snoop Dogg because Snoop Dogg actually goes on Reddit a lot. I was just like, really, that person? Like, but yeah. Huh. Anyways, that was yeah. kind of off topic. Totally, a uh, total of fifty million dollars for Reddit's issuance of shares, and it's most likely going to be on some kind of cryptocurrency platform. And they've they talked about this on the Reddit blog, and uh, this was covered by TechCrunch um, and and CoinDesk and CryptoCoins News. Um, the only the question now is, are they going to use a Bitcoin based platform for issuing these shares, such as Counterparty, or are they going to create a brand new alternative cryptocurrency directly for Reddit? And if they do that, they can't take Redcoin because that's already taken by someone. So it's got to be something else. OK, so I actually saw something about this on the Bitcoin subreddit. Um, I didn't actually read that, uh, which is a problem I have. I never read anything, it seems like. Um, but the the headline was a quote from the um, the cryptocurrency developer guy that they hired to work on the project. Ryan Charles. Um, yeah, and he, he said another altcoin. He definitely wants to do something built on top of Bitcoin. Um, he so, came from BitPay, actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, you know, that's definitely, I'd say that's pretty good evidence that the Reddit cryptocurrency is going to be built on top of Bitcoin. Um, that's what it looks like at this point. Yeah. But then, you know, the question is, how exactly are they going to do that? What are, what are they going to use? You know? Yeah. Um, it would If they did build it on Bitcoin... Um, I don't know that much about Counterparty, but it sounds like Counterparty would probably be the best option to go right now because they've already got a system built for basically creating stocks for companies and create 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 Reddit shares, and they're going to issue ten percent back to the community directly. Like, how is how is that going to work out as well? Like. Uh, is it just going to be if you have a Reddit account, then you get a, like a certain amount of that 10%? What if you have multiple Reddit accounts? Are you going to get multiple shares? Um, so there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered, a lot of details that still need to be worked out. They didn't talk about how they are going to distribute it. I just assumed that they would have like an IPO and people could, and you know, people would buy the shares and then they could sell them to other you know, members. But. Yeah, yeah. They haven't they haven't really said about the details yet. Um, but an an IPO sounds likely. They, but either way, even if they do do an IPO, the IPO would just be ninety percent of the shares, and at least ten percent goes directly to the users for free. They don't have to buy into it. So. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, that's that's great. It shows that Reddit's dedicated to their community." And yeah, I mean, it's it's true. It's nice to get ten percent of of the shares of this like IPO thingy. Um, but yeah, we've got we got. There's a lot of questions that still need to be need to be answered. Yeah, how this. would how would they distribute it? Because I mean, the cryptocurrency thing makes it really easy. Um, because you know, it's really easy to you know, create like a tipping platform. Well, I say easy, relatively easy because it's been done before. Make like, a, you know, a tipping bot and then they can just do that and then 
you know, they can go and create the people who get it can go and create an online wallet or whatever to store it. Um, Hopefully, they would yeah, have a wallet but, right there on Reddit for you to store it as well. Yeah, yeah, but like, how? Yeah, that is kind of a tough question. How are they going to distribute it? Because are they just going to like distribute it evenly um, among every this on Reddit? Like, if they do that, that's kind of a bad idea because you have to, you know, you have to leave out the inactive accounts. You have to leave out the, you know. Multiple accounts owned by the same person. All the bots and spam and yeah. all that crap. Yeah, so... And plus, if you if you do break it down that far, um, you know, that fraction of a share is going to be, like, so worthless that, you know, people aren't really going to be interested in doing anything with it, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe a, a decent way of distributing based on, like based on valuable users to the community would just be basing it off of how much karma your Reddit account has collected so far. So, you know, maybe... Well, but then there's the, a then there's the karma, karma spammers, though. There's the people who spam for karma, though. That, you know, that yeah. wouldn't really be fair. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's... Yeah. You gotta but, you know, that, find a way to weed out those they, people as well. That's why they hired the BitPay guy, not us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Um, so yeah, good luck, Reddit. It's, it's, it, at the very least, it's a very interesting idea and it shows like, it shows the crazy possibilities of issuing, um, public shares through the internet for a social media website. Like you ain't going to see this anywhere else. Like imagine Facebook issuing public shares on a cryptocurrency for their users. That's never going to happen. Yeah, I hate Facebook, man. <laughs> it's yeah. awful. Yeah, I mean, they Facebook, their model is just farming their users for content, and 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 you know, showing ads to their users based on what what their users like, you know, what Facebook pages they like, and then just trying to shove other related things into their face on their news feed, even though none of their friends actually posted about that. So Facebook's model is kind of messed up, and people use it anyway for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's where everyone it's free. is. Yeah, it's it's free, but a lot of things are free now. We have the technology now where, you know, social media sites can be free and also like efficient and and like really good for the users and and not show constant ads disguised as, you know, posts. So and that and Twitter's going in that direction as well. Twitter recently announced that they're gonna start showing people um, like tweets in their in their timeline that aren't necessarily from their people they follow, and it won't even necessarily be in the order in the chronological order as it is now. They might sh show things that Twitter decides is important t more towards the top. And that's because Twitter is a for-profit company. They had an IPO, and they have investors now who expect a return on profits. And the only way to do that is to push ads in front of people. So it's good to see Reddit going in the opposite direction for once and trying to at least give back to their users in an innovative way. Um, it's just that hopefully you know, this BitPay guy, Ryan Charles, can help them um, do it in a way that's really successful and is not just like... A new altcoin pump, you know, so best of luck to him.